656, time now for our Sunrise Smart Start. New York City police looking for the driver of a car after they say it ran into protesters in Times Square. The protesters calling for justice in the death of Daniel Prude, who died after being taken into custody here in Rochester. Police say the driver was asked to leave the area, but instead went into the crowd. We're told nobody was injured. Back here in Rochester, protests continuing for Prude into the night last night. Police using pepper spray to disperse that crowd in front of the public safety building. We're told two officers were injured, taken to the hospital, treated and released, and there were multiple arrests overnight as well. Uh, hundreds calling for justice in the death of Prude. Mayor Warren saying yesterday the officers involved in the uh, that we saw in the video of Prude's death have been suspended. Well, New York State's Attorney General uh, saying, the office there saying it did not ask the city of Rochester to halt its own investigation into Prude's death. But a statement released by the city late last night says it was asked not to make it public. A spokesperson for the city of Rochester said an attorney in Rochester's law department spoke with Assistant Attorney General Jennifer Somers. The statement says she, quote, asked that the city withhold the release of information, including the body worn camera footage, as the release will interfere with the attorney general's ongoing investigation. The city complied with the attorney general's office request. All right, Josh, uh, folks, looking ahead to the holiday weekend and a nice start for the Friday, huh? Sure Friday. is a nice uh, fresh breeze. We had a little bit of rain in the overnight in spots, courtesy of a cold front. And those temperatures definitely have come down. We are into the uh, 70s for highs today, largely the mid-70s. Uh, as we look at our fair flower city this morning, you can see the clearing that has taken place. A beautiful sky, great visibility, low levels of humidity, and uh, that's how it will stay here throughout the day. That front making its way now towards the coast, and uh, in its wake again, those breezes will freshen out of the west, especially closer to the Lake Ontario shoreline. So keep that in mind. I wouldn't be swimming in Lake Ontario today. But on land, we've got an ample amount of sun to look forward to. Uh, just really some gorgeous weather from hilltop to lakeshore. And if you like it a little warmer, it does get warmer, especially towards the end of the holiday weekend. All right, we'll take it. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update is coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Be safe. Have a great holiday weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.